guys, so today we're going to be doing the Paint Your Own Flower Pot by Asado Crafts. So from looking at the box itself, you can see that it's very vibrant, very colorful, very craftsy. Definitely something that would interest your kids to try out. So it says here, it's a easy to paint flower pot with ceramic pot. Um, some paintbrush and of course your paint with six different colors. So let's check the side. The box looks good. And at the back, it also shows all of these colors as well. And of course, an indication that this is specifically for kids five and up. Okay. So now that we've checked everything, let's see if look at all these contents are really inside a box. Let's open them carefully. And let's see. Okay, so we do have the ceramic pot that is unpainted and completely clear and of course the coloring materials and since we'll be painting we're gonna have to have this um, bottle with water to wash off the paint okay let's remove this and as you can see it's all very well packed with uh, ceramic covered by the bubble wrap to ensure it won't break during transit. So we're going to use um, my own brush for this as well because we're going to be doing this with um, a special 5-year-old guest. And let's see colors. Just open them up here. And yeah, it's all quite full to the brim. And not dry. Okay, so first of all, you have to put paper on your table. Otherwise, you'll be painting all over the desk and definitely if your desk is white you don't want that okay so we're just gonna wet off the brushes and we're gonna start painting so if you're going to do this with a kid like me you don't have to follow the exact design of the pot that you see on the box you can definitely like be creative in terms of coloring the pot and if you're gonna be with a kid make sure that you give them an option to choose what colors they want to use and also make sure to guide them accordingly on in terms of how to paint and in making sure that your brush is clean before you um, dip your brush to an another color so yeah let's start coloring the first So, and a little um, thing about um, saddle crabs is that it's actually made to make sure that you, kid or niece or whoever it is that is important to your life that is a kid, can have some bonding time together and be creative together and to understand more and improve their uh, creativity in terms of envisioning how they want to see this product done so the beauty about this craft is that you can definitely play with the colors and yeah just proceed with coloring it until you at least cover most of the pot so yeah let's see here let's see this one so let's just go along as we finish doing this craft here so um, another tip is that if you got your brush too wet, you can actually wipe it on the paper covering at the bottom you can do so you won't be spilling because the tendency of a paint, uh, really drenched paintbrush is that you won't really get as much color or paint onto the brush so that you won't have that desired vibrancy or effectivity when you brush it on to your ceramic pot so just make sure that your your um, brushes are not too wet so now we can add on some finishing touches to our little uh, craft here so you can put a little face on mr butterfly and
Voila! So this is the um, ending output of our little craft. Um, as you can see, it's very easy to do. You can definitely finish this in a few minutes or less than an hour. So what's really important here is that you spend time or bonding time with your kid or your niece or whenever if it's if it's a kind of garden student you want to entertain during the holidays, this is definitely something that you can try on. So yeah, overall the product is good, everything is um, well packed, clean, full, and it lived up to your expectations. So get one of these flower pads at sadacrafts.com or simply wait until at the end to see how you can get a hold of this. That's it. Bye!